Okay, well, who is approving all the requests for overtime? Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know. Is on third. But who's approving it? No, no. It? <laughs> the person who signs whatever it is, the overtime slip or whatever that is that pays the overtime, that goes to the payroll, there has to be checks and balances. I don't know if it's Mr. Howard. I don't know if it's Ms. Blumenthal. I don't know if it's a payroll person. I can't person. read this. Hey, who's on first? Yes. I mean, the guy's name. Who? The guy playing first. Who? The guy playing first base. Who? The guy on first base. <laughs> but who, and who actually is the ultimate approval? Right now? The final approval. The captains. No, be, before it goes to payroll. The captains. Then we have a flawed system. Yes, right? we do. Who's on first? Yes. I'm asking you. When you give the guy the money, what's the guy's name that you give the money to? Now, wait a minute. What signs his own? Who signs his own? No, who signs his? <laughs> But who, and who actually is the ultimate approval? Right now? The final approval. The captains. No, be, before it goes to payroll. The captains. Then we have a flawed system. Yes, right? we do. But you were just awakening to that now? Just finding that out? I am. That's amazing. I'm as shocked as you are. I always assume that the manager shined, signed off on the overtime. Oh, well, my gosh, we've February learned 19th. something tonight. I think we've got gross a form of corruption here. And who pays the overtime? <laughs> Will you pay off the first base from anyone? Do you get a receipt from the guy? Sure. How does he sign his name? Who? The guy you give the money to. Who? The guy you give the money to. <laughs> well, that's how he signs it. That's how who signs it? Yeah. Who's like well, it's the same thing. No, it's not. The ultimate sign-off has to be the person who pays the overtime. The manager and payroll has no sign-off on overtime. The captains have taken upon themselves as of February 19th right. to authorize it and then approve it. Okay. And then notify me of that. And, and because they're saying that the arbiter's ruling says they're allowed to do that. Well, that's fine. Someone puts in for overtime. After that piece of paper leaves that office, where does it go? To the personnel director. Okay, and what does the personnel director do with it? Takes that information and keys it into the system. Then we have a major flaw. It should the be signed off by the city manager. The department head is the authorizer of the overtime. Well, it's, it's a flawed system. Maybe that's part of the problem with the overtime. And that is if that kind of overtime is put in, the final person to sign off on that ought to be the city manager. I think I this goes to the heart of what uh, Councilman Picardi said, that there's abuse. But there's got to be more oversight. I think we, I think we need an investigation of the <coughs> overtime and comp time within that department. You've got a lot of abuses, and there's mismanagement because you're not overseeing the captains. It's, it's abuse, 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 and it didn't start today. It started years ago with a, with a different city manager. When a fireman can come in and make $1,900 for one day, to me that's abuse. You go to first base, yes. and you say to him, here's your money, sign the receipt. How does he sign his name? Who? The guy you give the money to. That's how he signs it. That's how who signs it. Yes. Sure. <laughs>